world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Unbelievable. Listen, I can't let you go without the gender question. Um, apparently, Wes Streeting was applauded this morning by Julie Harley Brew because he was actually able to d- uh, identify what a woman was. First Labour Party um, MP, I think, has managed to do that. He'll probably be suspended later this afternoon uh, for saying that, yes, a man has a penis and a woman has a vagina. I think that uh, Wes uh, has been very sensible on this, actually, for a while. It's good to have a straight-talking MP. I don't want to congratulate a politician... <laughs> for recognising what a man is and what a right, woman is. I know. You know, it's like it's one of those pathetic, things that I want to critique West Streeting on something a bit more interesting yes. or congratulate him if he does something good. Yeah. But we have got into a situation whereby we cannot speak what is obviously true. And it's fine for West Streeting to do it, but when you think about those athletes who've basically been told now, the cyclists mm. have been told, if you were to criticise the fact that a transgender woman is cycling as and and therefore we'll have a huge advantage over the female yeah. athletes. Do they have a crossbar or do they not count anymore? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I'd forgotten those days for a start off. But yeah. anyway, but, if that, but they've basically been told they can't criticise right. it. People are actually frightened of speaking out. I think that, therefore, the abdication of leadership by the Labour Party in refusing to give a lead on this to actually accommodating to something, because, yeah. you see, they aren't even, as you might have noticed, arguing a strong pro-trans identity... No. What they're doing is evading the question mm. and accusing people or saying, why are you being so trivial yes. by asking about penises? I don't want to talk about right. body parts. And it's like, well, nobody wants to talk about body parts. Right. But when a woman is reduced to... Or when you're described as, you know, chest feeders and all these kind of things, right? And right. The, the cervix becomes a matter of national people conversation and uteruses and all the rest. the BBC. When that... Actually, we didn't do that. We used to just go men and women, right? Yeah. We didn't need to do that right. because we all knew what we were talking about. So I think it's the cowardice of the political elite that mm. they won't actually give a lead on this. And if they're going to come out full trans identity supporters, then argue that clearly as right. well so we can critique them. Don't try and make... Don't try don't and gaslight, gaslight the rest of us by saying we don't know what you're talking yeah. about, why are you making a fuss? Right. This is your culture wars mm. obsession. This is a defining feature of politics that politicians won't say what they know right. to be true and by the way the Labour Party in particular is losing f- women activists uh, hand over fist mm. and if you know anything about the Labour Party over the years women activists have been the backbone of the Labour Party yes. they've been the organisers they're the ones who they're always tougher in a way yeah, of course. They're, they're the ones who kind of really make things happen yeah. the fact that those people are just saying I'm leaving this party I, I'm not having anything to do with you. Your lack of courage on this. Yeah. And the real consequences are that women are now defensively trying to explain who they are and why their experience mm. is as a woman. Yeah. And it's embarrassing. I don't want to have to go, did no. you know that as a woman this is what happens? You right. know what I mean? Like, I don't want you... It's because like, surely equality in the end is that we're all the same. We're all treated the same way. Yeah. And actually, the basis on which women were denied equal rights was actually because of their biology, because yeah. historically women were told that they couldn't work because mm. they were naturally and biologically the people who had children and therefore should stay at home. So actually the basis on which oppression has occurred historically Mm. has been that biological reality. So to deny that it's a feature at Mm. all means that you can't have a sense of what equality is because we fought to overcome that. Right. Right? It's absolutely bonkers. We could talk for hours, Claire. We must do it again. Good talk. Hot Hot talk. talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.